Whether it's a hack, stab, or bludgeon, I'm just gonna bash your brains. The weapons used in the horror genre have earned a chilling spot in our memories. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 iconic weapons in horror movies. Groovy. For this list, we're focusing on the most recognizable or memorable lethal instruments from our most favorite horror films whether used by the villains or by the victims. Number 10, Flamethrower, The Thing. We gotta just burn these things. Kill it with fire. No, but in a literal sense. In this John Carpenter sci-fi horror, a research team goes head-to-head -head with a shape-shifting alien, and this weaponized fire propeller just so happened to be the only method of destroying, well, the thing. Mac wants the flamethrower. Mac wants the what? That's what he said, now move! No other weapon looks as badass when being wielded by none other than the bearded Kurt Russell. Watch and learn. <laughs> Number 9. Boomstick, or Shotgun, The Evil Dead Franchise I shall see you dead. <laughs> the 12-gauge double-barreled Remington is a trusty companion of this horror franchise's protagonist. You got that! <laughs> However, it didn't receive the title of Boomstick until 1992's Army of Darkness. All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. See this? This is my Boomstick! Whether being used to blow away the corpses of his possessed friends, or blasting his alter ego in the face, This shotgun has stuck with him, and the Evil Dead through thick and thin. Ash's signature weapon is even used by the new cast in the series reboot. Number 8. Stake, Bram Stoker's Dracula Come. It's one of the oldest and best known methods of killing the blood-sucking creatures known as vampires. A sharpened wooden instrument driven through the heart of the so-called immortal undead. Look what your god has done to me. It's an effective and timeless weapon that instantly ends their lives. Case in point. Take the stick in your left hand. Lucy in Bram Stoker's Dracula. Ah! Yeah! However, and somewhat ironically, the titular vamp didn't actually die from a wooden stake. It was a bowie knife that finished the deed in much the same way. Number 7. Hook, the I Know What You Did Last Summer franchise While we saw the use of this weapon in Candyman, Be my victim. It's in this slasher flick franchise that we see it was used even more fittingly. Considering the movie's psycho killer is a former fisherman. Let's just pretend he's some escaped lunatic with a hook for a hand and we're doing everybody a favor. For being impaled with this instrument never seemed more painful until we see it being used by I Know What You Did Last Summer's antagonist. Inspired by the urban legend of an escaped serial killer, this movie and its slickered villain really had us hooked. Number 6. Sickle, Children of the Corn We want to give you peace. As you may have already guessed, this agricultural tool wasn't primarily used to harvest crops in the supernatural horror flick. As skeptical as we might have initially been about the sickle's effectiveness as a weapon, it wasn't until we witnessed an army of children wielding them that we recognized its true terror and power. Mm -hmm. 
This cult of miners utilized every lethal object at their disposal, but it was this bladed tool that frequently got the job done. And done well. You got a pretty sick way of celebrating it, pal. Number five, Axe, American Psycho. I like to dissect girls. Did you know I'm utterly insane? Almost nothing beats the satisfaction of hacking your victim to death with an axe. Unless, of course, you're hacking them to death to a hit 80s pop track. A song so catchy, most people probably don't listen to the lyrics. Patrick Bateman recognized this truth in American Psycho. Ah! The mix of his Huey Lewis monologue, the clear raincoat, and the two men's overall nonchalant vibe made this arguably one of the best scenes in the psychological black comedy. The axe makes a bold statement in this genre, though we can't forget its iconic use in The Shining as well. Here's Johnny! <laughs> Number 4. Chainsaw, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise. The mere revving of this mechanical device's engine probably has most people at least a little nervous. But thanks to both Patrick Bateman and this slasher flick, it's made even more people shiver in fear. The chainsaw becomes even more frightening upon discovering the psycho who's crazy enough to use it. And a murderous cannibal donning a mask of human skin just might be that psycho. Leatherface lets loose all his carnage on a group of unsuspecting friends with the signature weapon. The really perplexing question though is how was he able to run so fast carrying such a heavy tool? Number 3. Machete, the Friday the 13th franchise. We weren't doing anything, we were just messing up. <laughs> this long, cleaver-like knife became a favorite of the hockey-masked killer from the Friday the 13th films. It may not be as flashy as some of the other entries, but it's arguably one of the most effective. Jason used this lethal tool to stab, slice, <laughs> and decapitate a copious amount of victims throughout the film sequels and reboots. Following the death of his mother by machete, Jason Voorhees' weapon doesn't only carry the blood of his many victims, but possibly the only memory he holds of her. Number 2. Kitchen Knife, The Halloween Franchise While it's the most common household weapon on this list, appearing in many films like Psycho, no one can doubt the efficacy of such a simple tool. The infamous Halloween killer, Michael Myers, acquainted himself with this for the first time at the tender age of six, when he murdered his own sister. With it now being universally recognized as a deadly instrument outside of its designated room. We believe it's safe to assume the masked murderer wouldn't be cutting up vegetables with one if he was caught in your kitchen. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. This car is 100% death proof. Only to get the benefit of it, honey. You really need to be sitting in my seat. Number one. Claude Glove, the A Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. This weapon needs no introduction, being the signature device of the murderous villain that lives in our dreams. When I woke up, it seemed like he was still in the room with me. 
assembled from sheet metal, pipes, fishing knives, and rivets. This diabolical contraption just screams fear. <laughs> while the bladed leather garment was used to claw, scrape, and maim his victims. It wasn't just the glove that terrified us, but also Freddy Krueger's construct of horror. Dream or reality, this villain's weapon was all too real for us. And that's why we've given it our number one spot. This. God. Do you agree with our list? <laughs> I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. Which horror movie weapon kept you sleeping with the light on? For more chilling top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. It's all started to sound the same. Well, it's not.